All right, so you can see I started this side here aligning. Now the rear, again, that gap is horrible. We're gonna have to add metal to the door to that. Nothing we can do right now on that. So we're getting the fender and everything going here. And you can see, here's the, the thing that I like using is these, these are for uh, tiles, for ceramic tiles. You can get them in one eighth. Uh, I use the 316. Something you just get at Home Depot and they're great. Just super glue them to one of the panels. And then you can go ahead and you can just keep very consistent gap all the way through as you're, as you're positioning your metal on there. Started working the bottom here and that's coming in a lot better. Yeah, there's some, I gotta do some finishing on there. A little file and make that fit just perfect, but it's a lot better than what it was. But this is the big problem in here, uh, coming in here, it's much wider than what we want, you know, than our 316. Also have a 316 drill bit. You know, that's, that's not gonna do anything anyhow. So measuring it, <clears throat> it's about 120 thousandths out. So I got some 1.8 drill rod, which is 125. Gonna form it here and then weld that right onto the edge of the door. Put that right on there. Uh, the reason is because it has this nice radius on there that'll be the finished side. Yeah, I could just start taking a MIG and stacking beads on top of beads here and doing that, but I don't wanna lose that nice door fit. I mean. Everything lines up nice, it's just wide. I don't want to lose that, which I will when I start just tacking on top of each other, you know, to build up to an, almost an eighth of an inch and then grind that back down. It'd be a lot easier for me to do this. Tack this on the front side here and end up with that. So let's do that. So now that it's all welded up, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the weld. You can see here that it worked out pretty good. We filled the gap real nice. A little bit on the bottom here. So again, use my Sharpie. I'm gonna use the dividers just to get the exact gap. Scribe a line down on the bottom of the door there and then I'll just grind off that little bit of material. So most of the Grinding's done the blending, some little pinholes I can work on, but this is what we ended up with. That's how it's shut, so you can see, taking our little witness. Yeah, that goes right down there, right along. Maybe work that a little bit, but I think overall it looks uh, real good. Ready to move on now and get the fenders mounted and then start some of this other stuff.